In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your email accounts on your iPhone. Now, some of them are really easy. So I'll go through those ones first, such as Outlook, Gmail. Those are really simple. So I'll go through that. And then after that, I'm going to explain a little bit more about how it all works, because that understanding can help you fix a problem if it goes wrong somehow. And it also helps you if you've got an email option that is not kind of the common ones. And also I do see some people who have issues with their emails and I can explain kind of why that happens and help you to figure it out a little bit with that understanding. So on one hand, I don't wanna to go too much into it and confuse you and use too much terminology and go over your head. But then on the other hand, I think some of that knowledge could help you to understand why something isn't working or how to fix it. So I do want to give you that understanding, but I don't want to go so deep that it's overwhelming. OK, so I'm going to um, record my screen. I've got my iPhone here. So let me record my screen so that you can see what I'm doing. So the first one is the simplest ones to do which is things like uh, Outlook, Gmail, those sorts of things. So what you want to do is you want to go to your settings and in settings, here's settings, if you scroll down to calendar and we're going to click on that. Now in here, you're going to have accounts. And if you've not set it up before, then you'll go into accounts and you'll see nothing. The only thing you'll see is uh, to add an account. So we're going to click on that. And then, as you can see, there's various options. So if you've got a Google or an iCloud or an Outlook, then you would literally just click on that option. If you haven't and you're using something else for your email, then click on other and you'll need to set it up with some of the settings. So if you have Outlook, you're going to click on that. It's going to go to uh, your Microsoft login put in the login details and it does it all for you. It will connect to your account and pull through what it needs to pull through. After this screen and you've entered your details, it'll ask you whether you want to sync the mail, the notes, kind of what you want from that particular service. So those ones are really, really simple. After you have set it up, it will be like, like you can see here, it will be one of your accounts. And if you click on it, so click on an example, Gmail, um, you can go in here, it'll tell you the account, and then it'll tell you do I, what you're syncing. So you're syncing the mail, the contacts and the calendars from this particular account. You can delete the account, things like that. And each one has, it, has its own. At the bottom, you've got fetch new data. Now this is whether you have push or you have pull. What does that mean? Push means that the server, which is the place where the emails are held, will push any new emails to your phone. So this will happen in real time. Generally, this is battery saving for your iPhone, um, but it's only certain accounts that will do a, um, a push option. So then underneath we have fetch, which means that your iPhone will periodically go to the server and say, is there anything new? And then fetch it through. So you can do that on a, on a timer. Now, obviously if you put it automatically or manually, it might take more of the battery because your phone has to go and talk to that server more often. So if you've got uh, battery issues, you're better with push enabled so that it saves your battery. But there is a bit of a debate as to whether it does actually serve your battery or not. So anyway, I have push enabled, but I also have fetch set up every 15 minutes. So. What happens then? So back in settings, there's various details here. You can start the week on a different date, all those kinds of things, set all that up. What will happen then is once you've got that account set up, if you go into mail at the bottom, then this will be all of your emails um, and you can see them from there. The other way to access your email is via an app. So if you wanted to, you could download the app Outlook app <laughs> not easy to say and then you would have an app on your phone and then you just click the app to access those emails so either way it's quite simple to set up it's up to you whether you want a separate app on your phone or whether you want it to come through your mail app at the bottom now i produce mail because as you can see i've got different accounts so i quite like mail because i can then pull it through from different accounts all in the same place OK, so a little bit more details in terms of what's going on. And uh, let me stop sharing my screen. 
So um, a little bit more of the details. You can fix a problem or you can connect an email account that is not necessarily that simple. So you're going to go in and click other as your options. Now with this, you might have to put in some settings. There might be something called SMTP. There's also IMAP. And if you've got a particularly old email option, you might have POP3. So I will put a link below in the description to an article that I found that explains what each of those are. I don't think it's really important to kind of understand it all. All you need to know is potentially you might have to go and find those settings in your email server. Uh, so say you use GoDaddy, for example, as your your email package, you might have to go into GoDaddy. I'm only using it as an example. You might have to go into GoDaddy and find out what your IMAP or SMTP or POP3 um, server information is. Now, the good thing is when you click on other in your iPhone, it will tell you what information it needs and you just need to go find that information. So if that's the case, all I do is you're not sure what to do. Google it. How do I find my IMAP settings in GoDaddy? Or how do I find my SMTP settings in, you know, Squarespace or I don't know, whatever it is that you're using. So you might need to put in those particular settings. And like I said, I'll link an article down below explaining what the difference is. So if you are a bit of a nerd and a bit of a theory geek, you can go and read what the difference is. Now, the challenge that I see so many people doing is not understanding the difference between Outlook and your server. So a server is where your email is actually held. And sometimes people use Outlook as a method of bringing all their emails together. So it's not necessarily where the emails are held. They're not, they don't have an Outlook account. They're just using Outlook as the um, as the place that shows all their emails. But the actual email account, i.e. The, the place, the server, the place where those emails are actually held is somewhere else. What I have seen from a few people is they have problems with their emails that they don't see their emails or some get lost or uh, it's not syncing correctly and these sorts of things. And sometimes that's because they're routing their emails through to different systems, not realizing that the original place that that email comes from is somewhere else. So if you are having issues with emails, I would just check, and you're using Outlook, for example, I would just check whether those emails, you do have an Outlook account, or do you have another account somewhere else? Like, Where's the space? Where's the space on the server that those emails are being held? Because the more paths you make those emails go through, the more issues you are likely to experience. Now, why am I telling you this? I don't want you to fall down a rabbit hole of investigating and understanding the whole process of emails. I mean, there are people out there who their speciality is email deliverability and all the ins and outs to do with that. It is quite complex and it is quite a big field. I don't want you falling down the rabbit hole. I just want you to know that if you're experiencing problems with your emails, just check where your emails are originally held. OK, and sometimes within the Bib Accelerator group, I kind of help people navigate that journey uh, and find it out. And we find out that actually they they started off with a website somewhere that had an email plan and then they rerouted them through Outlook and then they're rerouting them through somewhere else. And then some emails come in from a different place and it's all got so confused. But it's no wonder that they're having some issues with their emails not coming through or not knowing or kind of showing up weird or things like that. So I just wanted to make that point so you're aware. Um, and then you can kind of have a look if you've got problems. If you're having problems with emails coming through your iPhone, then have a look. Sometimes it's worth like deconnecting your account and reconnecting it again, like an Outlook, like sign out in settings, uh, delete the account and then re-sign in again. And sometimes that can solve a problem. Or just check your IMAP 
SMTP settings because sometimes what's happened is it's kind of dropped one of the settings for some reason. Sometimes it does. Um, or that your server's updated their settings, things like that. So if all of a sudden you start having problems with your emails, you might want to go in and check your settings and just make sure that uh, it matches with whatever service it is that you're providing. If you're having problems, then kind of this is why I set up Build It Brilliant is to help you through these technological questions, these technological uh, problems. So by all means, connect with me and come and join my membership if there's loads of things that you'd really just like some support with and a bit of advice. And as I said, there are experts out there. So if you do feel like you need an email expert, then you can, um, I'm sure, find one to help you through it as well. I hope that that has been enough information to help you set up your email service on your iPhone, but not so much that it's completely confused you or gone over your head. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this week's video. Hope that's been useful and I will see you next week for the next one.